Hello, with this blog test, I'm happy to guide you through some updates about YOL's PowerSeq and GAN monitor. I am Taha, one of the leading authors of this monitor with my colleague Boshan. It is not new that wideband gaps, silicon carbide, and gallium nitride adoption in the power electronics market is getting stronger and stronger by displacing legacy silicon technology. The share of silicon carbide and gallium nitride is expected to exceed 33% by 2029, with a total market value of more than 11 billion US dollars. Looking at the short midterm, the combination of inventory destocking and the slowdown of BV in 2024 has significantly impacted the silicon carbide device market with only 18% growth rate in 2024 compared to 2023. And the expected demand is shifted to 2025 with a growth rate of device market to be around 38%. Apart from the automotive business, Silicon carbide is also being significantly adopted in uh, industrial applications uh, such as uh, charging infrastructure and photovoltaics. Regarding the power gain market, it is clear that the consumer segment uh, is still driving the demand with the adoption in the consumer fast chargers. Meanwhile, we see other growth pocket in the coming quarters from several applications such as automotive onboard chargers and data center power supplies and also uh, home appliance, power supplies, and motor drives. The power gain market is impressively in growing and attracting more and more investment and M&As, such as the recent acquisition of Transform by Renesas for 339 million US dollars. With that, I would like to thank you for your interest and uh, highly invite you to contact our worldwide sales team for any inquiries about our products and services.